Yes, guys, Nam 2020, Bratsley here, back at the In Music. This isn't even a stand, this is like a whole In Music little... Warehouse. It, pr pretty much, yeah, but back back with Jay. Yes, mate. Um, yeah, this time, Jay is um, he's talking us through the Rain 70, the brand new two-channel scratch mixer for Serato. Yeah, so, indeed. Obviously, the 72 came out, blew everyone's minds. The perfect pair with the 12s. Yeah. Um, this, to me, looks a little bit more stripped back. Um, but yeah, it's we've worked a lot on a lot of the feedback and, and given like a more intuitive layout. You know, the screens are now a lot smaller and will function more about kind of going into the menu settings to be able to adjust anything that you want. So you say you, you you say the screen, but you know, on on the 72. The 72's got a huge screen on it like, like yeah, that. Yeah. Whereas yeah. like, so you had had a little bit of a jig around in this area. Yeah. Still still got a little screen on it so that you can, uh, you know, do, do all your bits and bobs on there. But I mean, how close is this to, for, for me calling it a 72 minus the screen? Um, so it's not really quite that because what we've also done is a few other things. So Perfect. for those of you that know the Rain 62 and the 57, there's a there's a little bit of a legacy, a nod to the legacy of Rain. What's done here? So you've got the 62 style effects buttons. So these are the eternal flex effects. So you've got echo, reverb, six of those all together. You can also hit that button, and you've now instantly got access to the three Serato effects. So three per per channel, and you can stack those on top of each other. For those of you the oh, little wow, nerds okay. out there with a the 50 TT and 57, yeah, you remember. The little, uh, little right, joystick see, in see, there. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I like this because that's missing from the seventy-two. Yeah, but you can go. You, you use that for your bits and bobs, and you you push it down for exactly. So yeah. you got like three sixty, three sixty knob. There you go, three sixty knob. <laughs> Enough for you. Though. So I mate, you could, took took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, so we've still got you know the the really kind of high level metal performance pads, and these could be rotated as well. Depth control. So. The key thing with the 70 is now if you want to do an echo, you hit a button, you do the echo effect. You want to do a reverb, yeah. you hit one button, and then you do that. It's nice and simple to be able to access those effects. Yeah. The looping section has been taken out and given its own section. So yeah, again, yeah. nice big button loop on and off, double or half those. You've got the parameter settings, which... Because the looping section on the 72 is on the screen, right? Is uh, built into the pads. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Auto loop, manual yeah. loop down there. Yeah, yeah. So, so, the so, so that's great, actually. Yeah, the pads have kind of been simplified a little bit. So you've got hot cue, save loop roll, sampler and transport. You've also got Serato pitch play and two of these are MIDI mappable on the shift page so that you can map whatever you want to be able to, you know, make this kind of mixer feel feel your own. Yeah, cool. And you've still got the transport, which is like the DJs get out of jail free. The, and you've this, got your play and your yeah, cue and your all that. And this there, actually so. has been way more popular than, than we realized it would be. So mm. it, it definitely had to make it into the 70 as well. Yeah. Uh, we've got the instant double button. So you'd yeah. be able to instant double your track. But in the menu settings, you can also change that so it's sync on or sync off. Okay. And you can also change that to a third mode, which is a silent cue. So that's a really kind of popular request. Again, you know, Ryan listens to all the DJs, and it's really important that we have to give them exactly what they want when we when we create a new mixer. Uh, Jewel of the Crown is a brand new Mag 4 fader, 50% lighter. I'm gonna do my little kind of maraca shakers here. <laughs> so on this one here is the Mag 3 fader. And this is the Mag 4 fader. I'm going to put that down so you're not uh, you're not in focus. And this one's much much lighter. And the feedback so far has been really 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 positive. So we're really happy awesome. happy about that. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, you might not be able to see that, but what we've got is a tension adjust at the front. So with that on the old on the 72, yeah. you had to go into the rain settings. So what you had to do is you had to lift the panel up and you were able to adjust the oh, uh, fader okay. from there. Oh, oh no, sorry, then, it's 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 the cut that you have to go into the rain setting still then. So you've the cut setting you've still got the cut oh, okay. settings uh, in the menu settings oh. here. You've also still got the, the magnetic tension adjust on each of the individual faders. Yeah, because they're three, they're they're all mag four. Faders. All three of them, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I should stress that the, the pad modes are independent as well, just like the 72. Mm -hmm. This tension adjust is a physical adjustment. What's happening is I tighten this, there's a felt pad that is slowly moving towards the fader. So all the way to the right, that's got a little bit of resistance to it. If I go all all the way to the left, you know, that's kind of super light. Yeah. So, you know, let's say that you're on stage bouncing around, the basements are going, and the crossfaders, you've got a super tight you cut. Really it's kind of it. moving a little yeah. bit because of the vibrations. Yeah, you yeah. can tighten that up a little bit and just keep, keep that nice and secure. Yeah. Inside this is the same 
quality rain DNA, full 96K 24 bit audio outputs, all pro outputs at the back, all the adjustments that you want for all the deck up faders, cross faders, two microphone inputs as well that also could be changed to a line input. Yeah. You know, this is packed full of features with a nice new streamlined intuitive layout. It is, it is exactly that, mate. I was going to say it's, you know, it is, it, it's a bit more stripped back. Um, yeah. You know, with that big old lovely screen in the 72, just to say I'm pointing over there because there's a 72 over there. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it is tricky. But these, uh, the, the, the Q and the Q level um, are down here compared to the 72. Yeah. Um, the 72, the Q and the Q level are further up. Oh, so the Q levels are further up here, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it seems like it's, it's the same size. Yep, exactly same, the same, same size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, it's solid steel, but it's built like a tank. You know, I mean, yeah. this 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 is designed to kind of go on the roads. Um, you know, obviously works in conjunction with the twelve, but equally work well with obviously yeah, the turntables it can, as well. It, it, it can work with anything. You know, um, a, but this is a Serato mixer. So uh, Serato can but obviously there's line and phono inputs as there, well. For there is so, so, so you can play it with with normal vinyl. Absolutely. But yeah, just just link with Serato this one then. Um, and also, um, what, what? So we've just got the Serato navigation, so why are you talking about Serato? Yeah. So you can move up and down the playlist, back, load, and if you did say change this to sync on and off, or the silent cue, you can still use that as the instant load. Yeah, uh, double, instant doubles, double tap just it, like on doubles. There. And uh, the EQ is the full kill. As yeah. Well. yeah, and you can change that to full uh, full kill bleed. Uh, you've got the gain control here, high pass, low pass filter. Mm -hmm. Got the resonance settings in there. I should just stress as well with the flex effects. So each the echo, reverb, all of them, you can go into those, and there are parameters. There are different types of echoes: tape echo, delay echo. And that's that within this menu. Within here, the menu, and then exactly. And you can yeah. use this little uh, 360 knob exactly, there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, it's. Um, I think probably what people kind of want. Um, the 72 is an, is an absolute beast, but it, it might be for some people a little bit, little bit of an overkill. Do you know what the, the the way the way that we kind of think about this 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 is released this is alongside. almost like a throwback. It, 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 it's there's it's a, like a there's nod a, to yeah, the, like the sixty two. There is a yeah. there's definitely a nod to the the the, the legacy of Rain for yeah, sure. Yeah. The seventy two still remains the flagship mixer. These are two different battle performance mixers. You know when you go and buy a car, sometimes you buy an automatic, or you might want to buy a manual. Sometimes you're going to buy the three liter one. Sometimes you want to buy the two point five. Yeah. You know it's about being able to pick what suits your particular DJ style mm -hmm. both of these are going to have you covered yeah yeah sick mixer mate can't nice. wait to get my hands Thank on you. it properly thanks for your time as always bro yeah pleasure nice, nice done one, cheers guys uh any any questions about the 70 um please drop them in the comments and yeah i'll get back to you um i'm hoping to have one in the rat cave soon to um put it through its paces basically but yeah thanks guys nice. peace out pick it up <laughs>